So playing with uh, oil sticks, uh, especially the Paul de Maris oil sticks, I found it to be a really fun way to get started, to play, to loosen up. There's so many great colors. And I have these four paintings here that I started with play using the Paul de Maris oil sticks, and then they dried, the paintings dried, and now I'm ready to go back in and just add to the painting, move it forward, and hopefully finish them. Um, the whole idea, though, is to kind of use the play stage as my idea for colors and, you know, how do I want this these paintings to appear in a cohesive way. So um, please join me as I add to these four paintings, and by the end of the video, hopefully I will finish them. So stay tuned. Here we go. I did this with the Paul de Maris oil sticks, had a lot of fun. Um, anyways, I did it pretty fast. Just to get the paint on and get used to these the oil sticks, which are so nice and fun to use. And I can always use them again on this painting, but right now I just want to um, kind of play with some of these mixtures I've got going on. And, um, I'm just going to dive into some grays here. Can I add more color? But even these are kind of semi transparent. If you lift, if you um, really kind of hold the tool perpendicular to the surface, you can actually lift quite a bit. And then you just decide, you know, how much you want to show through. But that's also a bit of experimentation is um, what kind of effect you want. And you can drag things through this. I can add some cold wax medium to it to make it more transparent. And then it looks even more. So that's that's the nice thing about cold wax and oil is that you really can lift so much of it. You put it on and then you take it off and you just decide between the opacity and transparency dynamic that's going on. I'm just experimenting right now to see kind of what what I get with this surface. And you can also lift, you know, with a paper towel. So just maybe dulling it a little bit, some areas here. And then you guys lift with Gamzol if you feel like you might have obliterated too much. But there's a lot of this pink down here, so I can definitely see maybe um, obliterating some of that. Not knowing where you're going is part of the fun of it, I think. Now that pink wasn't part of the palette, so um, it would make sense for me to kind of just spread this all around and just kind of go from there. It's almost like I'm gonna not think about the underpainting and Let's add saturation back. You know, I love the palette so much that it's almost like I want to feature the palette. <laughs> so, like, that's gorgeous. And um, I'm going to take another color that's close. Um, it's good to cover up some of that high intensity color. I'm going into like just slightly different values as I do this. There's so many different mixtures here. All the grays are pre-mixed. I want to go a little bit more yellow. And then this painting becomes um, very much about that palette which I really love. It's 
Just little blobs of paint. I'm kind of just quieting it down. So can I just lift back almost all the way to that brilliant color? It's kind of fun. Um, you can always draw the skewer through any of this and reveal. You can use both ends, a little bit thicker line like this. It's kind of a nice effect. And then just taking little bits of uh, Gamsol. I think I have some here somewhere. And the good thing about this is you'll see um, that even if you cover things up with opacity, you can take, you know, this little Q-tip here and come in here and just dab away and lift some paint, bring it all the way back to that original vibrancy that you've just covered up you know little little areas you don't have to be your favorite areas they're just like peeking through to the the lower layers and that can create interest it's kind of the ultimate conceal and reveal I don't use a lot of Gamsol in my studio, actually. So I, an open door for me is, is usually pl plenty of uh, ventilation, but I do have more heavy duty ventilation if things get really smelly, but they just usually don't. And then I, I just often like to use my finger to um, you know, bring in some additional texture and interest. And like here's a nice juicy gray. Um, sometimes seeing a, a blob of paint like that can be kind of cool. Scraping into a little bit. Um, there's more of this color. And just really exploring the palette. That's what this is. This process for me is very much about that. I love mark making, so um, adding line is something I do a lot of. I love grids, so but they don't have to be perfect grids. This little bit of yellow down here on um, peaking, and I like this yellow ochre with um, like a variety of that color, a variation of that color. Um, you can see, I can imagine it down here, probably because there's this lavender, and it's the complement of that lavender, just really pretty with that pigment stick. Um, and then this gray actually is going blue because of the warm around it. So even though it's a gray, it's going cool. And there is no cool in this except for that gray. The purple was cool. Um, so then like just, I know it's, it doesn't look like much, but if you put a mat over just that one little rectangle, um, it's very subtle. But if I lift it up, you can kind of see it better. It has texture. Um, there's some really thick areas and really thin areas, and um, and letting the setup, you know, is always a good idea because it's hard to it gets really wet, and there's only so much you can do. But here's a thicker um, 
join. Okay, I'll look other colors as well. I have a red pencil somewhere. This is actually a Sharpie peel off China marker. Hmm. Interesting. A bit of that. And then I like that green that was in there here, but you don't have to do it with paint, you know, if you want to just a little bit of um, a touch of that green color. Um, it's kind of interesting. Oftentimes I like to play with my warm white pigment sticks, so sometimes I put that on some deli paper. another painting. Except here. I don't really like how that red shiny marker came out. So I'm just going to take this and make a handle of this and obliterate a bit of that. Huh. Didn't quite come out the way I thought it would. Never does. And that's a little better, I think. Yeah, it's just really bizarre. <laughs> but I like that. I like things that are really different. You can't do a whole lot with it when it gets super gloppy, but it definitely has changed, <laughs> as you can see. To make a glaze, you just would have to um, normally would choose a glazing color. And these two colors are not glazing colors, they're very opaque. Um, but if you take a little bit of the cold wax medium and just spread it on here first, and then say, take one of your colors like this one, maybe this one, and then mix it in, it will be glaze like. It's mixing with that additional cold wax medium on here. You could also mix it on your palette, but um, here, that just means that if I do this, it's a bit like a glaze. So I can have both opacity and, you know, transparency. I wasn't going to go back into that, but then I did. Also, I have to here. It's creating a division of space here. I don't mind. Do 
करें Kind of see where things are at. I actually kind of like this one. <laughs> it's very different. Um, but you can see the difference between left and right now. Um, there's that one. And this one. So I've just um, showed you the difference right now between the left and the right. And I'm going to continue doing that. It's um, a process, of course. But um, quite a fun one. Didn't go very far. It's kind of nice. Um, it's definitely a darker gray. It kind of blends with these other mintones. I can use that white to this too. So the glob there and then take some of the gray. Satisfying, obliterating some of the brightness here. Not all of it, but quite a bit of it. Never worked over dried pigment sticks before, so this is all new. Subtle value shifts. on this one because look if it starts to look kind of blue of saturation and I don't need to have like a ton of it as you can tell. And 
try not to get too attached to anything. You can always put it back. little bit of line peeking through is kind of enough for me. Not feeling like you have to do the identical thing. I'm not trying to go over the exact line. For now, and then move on to this one because I'm definitely going to need to let these dry and set up because there's so much wet paint on top. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do when it gets to be that wet. All right. Hmm. I'm really liking this color right here. So add some gray to it. Need more of it. Doesn't have to be exact. A little bit of this redness. Why use your tools when you can just use your fingers? Just wear gloves. <laughs> That's the main thing. I think I just love this palette so much. These simple colors. It really is about exploring what these colors do together with just minimal underpainting. Occasionally peeping through. Control over the edges. Just lost that. Okay, bring it back. Some color, mixing it on the paper. You can do this with your finger, with a tool. This effect of gradation. All these premixed colors now are really fun to rediscover. You never get the same color twice.
and the Colvex medium. Turn it more into a thinner glaze. Some color, really fun. Just, you don't change the value much, but you do see the color shift. That's what I'm liking about this palette. really blocky here and hard to see. I can always reapply tape, but what I like to do sometimes is just take the tape off even though it's not done. Um, it helps me to um, just see it. I can't see it with this tape on here and um, the mat helps. But Um, yeah, these are very soft, and I think coming off of my Lexicon series, I probably am um, going into the extreme opposite direction, but that's good. I mean, that's kind of what you want to do is um, explore different ways of expression, and so they're soft, um, they're gentle, and they're subdued, and I like that. You know, like, it's, it's the other part of me that I'm, I think I'm really liking that, so... Um, I'll let these set up and hopefully um, I can show you a close-up of this. Okay, so thanks everyone. Bye now.